and all, this is Super Home Worker again, coming to you with another great tutorial of VideoPad, another awesome feature that a lot of you are having to struggle with. It's a simple feature, but it can be challenging. So here we go. Today we're going to talk about how to split up your audio and mix it up a little bit without splitting up or editing your video. Say, for example, you love the way your video is, but now you want a certain kind of narration or kind of mix up your songs, however you want to do it. Now as you can see, I've already got have an example here, a video pad tutorial that I previously made. I have it on my media list and also have an example for narration with it as well. But we're going to work on the tutorial video pad video first. I've already dropped it down, didn't do anything extra, just dropped it down. As you can see, obviously your top part is your video, the bottom part is your audio. Now let's just say for an example that you want to go ahead and split this up and you want to save the middle, but you don't like the beginning or the end of the audio. But you don't know how you're having a challenge and again you are when you go to edit your audio, you're editing your video too. I'm going to show you how to do that without messing up your video. What you do is drop down here to your audio, you right click and you hit unlink sound clips. All it does is just unlinks it from your video. It doesn't remove it or delete it. And as you see, it's highlighted in blue, so that tells the program that that's the item that you are working on. And so, now we're going to go up here. Now, two versions, two ways of doing this. You can use these little buttons here to slide, but I like to go ahead and go to my section right here, this little red arrow, this little red triangle. Maybe hard to click on, but this is the way I like to do it. Click on it, and you slide it to wherever you want to cut it. And as you can see at the bottom, it's cutting it as I'm sliding it. I want to put it on one for this example. Now that's your beginning. That's where your, your audio at the beginning is going to start. Now I'm going to click over here to the blue. And I'm going to stop on the, uh, let's say four, just for the sake of this example. Now of course anything that's green is saved. Anything that's in the white sections are cut. So now you drop down here and you click on, because you don't have to have this at the beginning of your video. That's not set in stone. You play around with it and you s what you're going to do is you click on it and you're going to drag it to wherever you want it underneath your video. So it's, it's a good feature because you not only see your timeline here where you want it, but you also see your video clips and where it's going to show up and where it's going to start. And anything that's in this section here is going to be silent of course. And of course this is going to be your narration or your music. So now say for an example you want to add more to it. What you do is you go over here on your list, and I've got this small example here. You go ahead and drop it down. And it's going to add it to the end because that's my default. So don't worry about that because you can move it around. And you click on it, and you, you drop it down. You can bring it over here in the middle. of your, I don't think you want to mix it with your audio, but drop it over here. And you can place it there for an example. Now you can do this many times you want. You, whatever files you have over here, you drop it and play it around, twist it, however you want to do it. Now, um, just keep in mind, you got it in two different tracks like that because you have obviously track one and track two. Now, when you have that, just keep in mind, do not place it under the previous track because it's going to overplay itself, like two people talking over each other. So just keep that in mind. So, and also, I want to before I go, I want to tell you about another feature right over here on your soundtracks. Click on your star button. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. Now ignore this up here. Of course this is going to be blank up here where it says echo echo. It's going to be blank when you open it up and click on your add button. These are your choices how you want your audio to be. If you want to echo or compression or chorus, amplify, you play around with it and see if you want to change it up and um, it's fun to play around with it see what you like. So, Or you don't have to add any of them. That's up to you. And then click OK of course. So um, I hope I've answered your questions and helped you out. And if you have any other questions, just go ahead and respond to any of my videos at all. And I hope you have a nice day. And I do want to remind you, when you do create your videos, just keep in mind you're going to need the traffic. You're going to need the friends, subscribers, especially if you're new to YouTube and it's frustrating to get somebody to come watch your video. So just click on this link down below here and go ahead and put that in your browser and check it out. It's a free program. I use it. Um, that's how I get my, my friends, my subscribers, and you can download it for free. And if you want to go ahead and purchase it, it's relatively inexpensive. And go ahead and order it. And if you go through that link and order it, then you will get $5 off from me. 
So just to give you a heads up, it's it's limited time offer only, so make sure you get that in right away. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have an awesome day.